Hi, this is Chris, and I'm going to show you how to build this platform storage bed from IKEA kitchen cabinets and a little bit of framing lumber. I started by obtaining the measurements of a standard full-size mattress, which is 54 inches wide and 75 inches long. I used three of the widest cabinets that IKEA makes, which are 24 inches wide by 30 inches high by 15 inches deep along the side of the bed and four cabinets at the foot of the bed in varying heights to create steps. Next, I assembled all seven cabinets. Since they are wall cabinets, I discarded any of the hardware that would normally attach them to the wall. I didn't install the back on one of the big cabinets, so it could be used to access the storage underneath. Then I laid the cabinets out on the floor and using wood clamps screwed them together with two screws along the front and one screw near the back. I used 1x4 pine boards for most of the framing. I started by marking the height of the frame on the wall and used a stud finder to mark the studs. Then I drilled two pilot holes in the board at every stud and got help holding it in place as I screwed it to the wall with 2.5 inch screws. I installed another framing board on the back of the cabinets. And used a piece of the unused back to fill the space next to the steps. A little glue on the back will keep it in place where I don't want a visible screw. A small angle iron ensures the corner stays together at the bottom. The two short framing boards support the center rail which is a larger 2x4 because it supports most of the weight. I didn't want to use a 1x4 there. Next, I used 1x4 pine to cut 12 slats the width of the frame. The first one is used as a pattern to mark the rest. Then I laid them out to check the coverage. To calculate the spacing, I have 12 boards that are 3.5 inches wide. That means the width of all the boards adds up to 42 inches. So I subtract 42 inches from 75 inches, which is the length of the mattress, and that leaves 33 inches of space between the boards. I divide 33 by 11, which is the number of spaces between 12 boards, and the space between each board needs to be 3 inches. So I made a couple of 3 inch spacer blocks to help me evenly space them. I drilled three pilot holes in each board and attached them to the framing at each end and the middle. Time to get the mattress and give it a test. I then installed the last door on the access cabinet. Remember, this is the one with no back and no shelves, so we can access the crawl space underneath the bed for storage. I dressed up the top of the cabinets using inexpensive paneling. Just cut it to size and hold it in place with double face carpet tape. Next, I cut a rubber-backed rug to fit the steps, which would be very slippery without it. I made a simple jig to ensure the knob holes were drilled in the same place. 
Time to install the shelves. I installed a small light under the bed so we can see in the storage area, and a hidden power strip for the lamps and cell phone charger. Finally, a short piece of foam pipe insulation will prevent sore backs when you're climbing into the crawl space. There you have it. This platform bed is a contemporary design that adds a lot of functional storage space, not only in the cabinets, but it also has more than 70 cubic feet of crawl space underneath the bed. Thanks for watching.